Now, President Museveni's minister to be sentenced to death after making government lose billions of taxpayers' money. Who is this minister? Stand by for the details. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Now, before we go to that story, a section of constituents from Kawembe South are very disappointed in their member of parliament, Horebo Kaziwe Bashir, accusing him of neglecting them after voted to parliament. According to these people, a Horebo Kaziwe Bashir has never set foot in the constituency to ascertain the situation his people are in. Uh, they are also talking about high commodity prices and other issues affecting them, but what hurts them more is that this member of parliament has never been heard on radio or TV speaking about these issues. Uh, they have also written a letter reminding him that when he was looking for votes, he promised to fully address their issues such as education, employment and many others. Now, the teams that campaigned for him said they were used and dumped by this honorable member of parliament after reaching on top. Well, uh, we all know that when people complain, then you just know there is a problem. Uh, personally, I think Honorable Kaziwe Bashir, you need to get back to the people that forwarded you to parliament other than distancing yourself from them. Uh, keeping quiet when your people are going through hard times is not really good. In other news, a section of members of parliament, both in government and opposition, are calling upon the finance minister, that is Matia Kasaija, to resign immediately after admitting to have made a mistake which resulted into government losing 10.6 billion Uganda shillings. However, horrible Matia Kasaija says he cannot resign because he's not the first person to make a mistake and he furthermore said he has apologized to the country and he promised that it will never happen again. So, my question is, do we just let the 10.6 billion to go like that because you have apologized? I mean, this is taxpayers' money and it needs to be recovered. Anyways, Rubaga Deputy RCC, that is Anderson Burora, has asked President Museveni to take serious action against people like Matia Kasaija, who negligently caused the government to lose a lot of money. Uh, he suggested that horrible Matia Kasaija should be sentenced to death as an example to other government officials. Uh, we are yet to hear from President Museveni about this issue. However, a big section of Ugandans seem not to be expecting a lot from President Museveni. Anyway, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Well, in other news, 11 UPDF soldiers were involved in a fatal accident which occurred in Moroto district. Uh, they were actually heading to Moroto barracks where South Karamoja military chiefs had converged for a security meeting. Uh, fortunately, no one died and all the injured were airlifted to Bombo barracks. According to eyewitnesses, they attributed the accident to reckless driving, adding that the driver was driving on a high speed which caused the tires to bust. Uh, it's very unfortunate and let's wish them a very quick recovery. Well, that is it I got for you on the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are still looking at our target, which is 20k subscribers. And I see we are pushing. Yeah, we are soon getting there. Uh, so make sure that you be part of the family 24-7. And you can also share the link to your other friends so that they can subscribe and also stay updated about what's happening in the country. My name is Melas Milo, aka Fuller. Thank you. Thank you.